You directed this movie called God's Slaves. What, what does the title refer to? It's referred to the 99 names uh, that it's, ref it's a synonyms that the Quran use of the human being, which are all synonyms of God's slave. So it's going to, it was going to be called God's, God's slaves in plural, but then we decided to kind of make it a little bit metaphoric and we went for one single God's slave. The movie is about uh, the terrorism that uh, was behind the Argentinian Jewish Center. Uh, uh, yes, it's uh, the movie. It's about. It's, we're trying to go into the human minds of two characters, one in each side of the coin, right. and we try to kind of relate onto in this context uh, that really happened in a story that really happened. Was the connection of Iran? to this uh, terror explosion known when you started making the movie? Uh, actually, no. It was followed, but then it was left. Um, and then they picked it up again, because at one point it was the Syrians, then it was the Iran, then it was Lebanon, and then it went back to Iran. And then it was the auto bomb thing theory. So it was f theories all around, but the Iran theory was not coming back when I started. I started this movie in 2008. That's when I started. And the Iran came really strongly in 2009, and it kind of, in 2012, I think it became really solid. So Iran, uh, why would Iran blow up Argentina, uh, Jews in Argentina, if they don't share a border? Well, in the movie, uh, we went, uh, we go back, there's two different theories about this attempt. At the beginning, they were following the theory about Syria, about the Syrian money that went to Menem, to the Menem campaign. And that was kind of a, a vengeance to that, to, 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 to Menem. Uh, then that stopped being followed. And then uh, the killing of uh, three um, Al-Qaeda and, and um, Hezbollah, and I don't recall which was the third one in Europe at that point. That happened the same year, actually, the, the three months before the AMI attack. So there was the theory about this being a vengeance, that it was kind of an advertence for the Mossad, uh, who uh, were kind of getting uh, targets, uh, like really dangerous targets before that. So it seems, this was from 94, this, uh, the, the yeah. uh, act occurred, and it seemed like uh, these Muslims are at war not with Israel, but with Jews. Is that right? Well, usually the, extrem the extremist side of, uh, of uh, the, the Muslim part is usually, it doesn't always have to be with Israel. Sometimes it's, uh, they take it as a, as a whole thing, right? It's Jews and Israel sometimes kind of become the same thing for an extremist. As for the Jews, sometimes having, a, a, for us sometimes, we say Arabic and Islam being the same, which is not the same. Sometimes Arabic means Christian. Sometimes Arabic means um, light. Islam. Sometimes it means Jews. Sometimes it means when you go to the Persian part, it means Jews. So, uh, and but in the mind of some of an extreme uh, of, of an extreme mind, it all comes into the same pack. So when we go to the Islam extremist, happens a little bit the same. They go Jews as the same thing as uh, as Israeli and the minority, which is the Jewish part that is against Zionism, which it exists. It's kind of something that is kind of away from everything. So from '94, and it's now it's 20 years since that event. Uh, do you think the uh, jihad against the Jews is uh, easier or worse? I think it's. That's a non. That's a no ending, non ending conflict that we're that we're facing, and I don't think it's worse. I don't think it's better. I think it's going to be ongoing, and it kind of changes from one thing to the other, and kind of goes back and forth again. Um, from 94, that you asked from 94, I think it's a, it's it. We've faced times in which we have uh, more strength in the in the extremism. And there's sometimes that it's less. It depends on it depends on the political context. So I was shooting a movie in Israel, and I kind of went a little bit more through the Palestinian part, which is interesting because you have an ongoing balance. Sometimes more, sometimes less. So it's it's like that. It's an ongoing thing. <laughs>